Hi, I'm David Soper, Technical Marketing Engineer supporting Cisco Intersight, and today I'll be taking a look at automation using Ansible Tower. So I'll start out in Ansible Tower, and this is a 3.8 version installed on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 7.9. And next I'll walk through project configuration in Tower. So for that project configuration, I'll navigate to projects, create a new project, I'll give this a name, and I'll choose a source control type, which will be get. And for that, I will use a GitHub URL. For the GitHub related setup, I'll now take a look at GitHub inventories, playbooks, and requirements. So I have a GitHub repo here, and this will do Intersight server profile configuration. And I have a server profile example here that will configure that. And I also have an example inventory and then I have some collection related requirements. These requirements are where I'll actually pick up what is needed in terms of collections from Ansible Galaxy, and I'm using the Cisco Intersight collection. So back in Ansible Tower, I will take that GitHub URL and add that to my project configuration. One other thing that I'll set here for this project is my Ansible environment. So I actually want to use Python 3. Uh, I followed the instructions from Red Hat on configuring a Python 3 virtual environment. That is what I want to use for this project so that it runs within Python 3 on my RHEL 7.9. I'll save that project configuration. And now I'm ready to go take a look at inventories. So for my inventory, I can go create a new inventory. And this will be that demo inventory. So the source for this is where I'm going to use, so I need to save that first. And then the source is where I will go and pick up an inventory from GitHub. So this is my GitHub inventory and the source is coming from a project. That project, again, I'll set Python 3 as the environment. Uh, the project that I'm using is what I just created, Intersight Demo. And the inventory file will be that example IMM inventory that was in that GitHub repository. No other setup needed if I'm pulling that from GitHub. I can save the inventory at this point, and then that will be usable. With the project configuration in place, now I'll take a look at job templates and how to manage credentials within those. So from the templates menu, I will go and create a new job template. And we'll stick with those demo names. This is where I will pick up that demo inventory. And the project that I'm using is my Intersight demo project. And the playbook with that GitHub integration, this will automatically pull in the playbooks that I want to use. I'll use my server profile playbook. And this is ready to save at this point. One other thing that I'll take a look at now is use of credentials within this project. So I'll save this first, and now I'll go look at how I'm going to manage credentials here and pull those in. So for credentials, I'm first going to take a look at credential types. And for this, I have added an Intersight credential type. This is the Intersight API private key that I don't want visible in GitHub or anywhere in Tower. So I'm going to let Tower manage that secret and encrypt it securely in the back end. Uh, I've set up a credential type that is my private key that is a secret so that it won't be visible anywhere here and managed securely by Tower. I also need a multi-line setting here because this key coming in from Intersight is a multi-line. And in my case, I'm going to be using a version 3 key that I'll add in. With that credential type in place, I can actually go add the credential. So I'm going to go add a new credential here. This is my demo credential. That credential type is where I want to use the inner site type that I just configured. So 
we're going to look for that type, select that, and this is an API private key, and as it uh, says there, drag and drop it into the field. I'm going to go pull my private key data that I've downloaded previously from Intersight, and I'm going to paste that into this window and click Save. As soon as I've saved that, that is encrypted and not visible, and I can replace it at any time, but otherwise I cannot see that data. And I can add that to my Intersight demo template. So the credential type that I want there is Intersight, and I've got a demo credential which I've just added. One more thing that I'll do here in this template is I will add an extra variable. So this can be anything that's needed in the playbook or that you want to actually change on different runs. I'm going to go add in an API key ID. This could come from the environment. This can also be in the GitHub repository. Uh, this is my public key. So I'm actually just going to add it as an extra variable here as an example. Once that's saved, I'll try to launch here. Before I do that, one more thing. Uh, Ansible environment, again, key here to use Ansible or to use Python 3 in any of these runs. Uh, it's not carried forward automatically from the projects, so I really want to be using that Python 3 environment for everything that I'm doing. Save, and we'll launch. And while this is successful, I can see on the right side, no hosts matched. And so I've forgotten a step here. Uh, back in my inventory, uh, that would indicate a problem with my inventory. So let's go take a quick look here at that Intersight demo inventory. And so that source there is being pulled from GitHub, but I actually see here sync not performed. So let me go actually pick up this inventory from GitHub. And that is where that again is going to be pulling that inventory file from GitHub. Now I've got good setup there. And we can go back to my template and try to run. So Intersight demo. Let's try this one more time, launching this. And now I'm running better. I've got the servers from my inventory. And I have gone in and configured my server profiles in Intersight. This is a successful run. And I can go do a final double check here in Intersight of one of these servers. And I see that I've got a server profile configured down here in the lower left from Ansible. Thank you for the time. For more information, be sure and visit intersight.com help.